Silver Vector here, and today I'd just like to um, chat, chat with you a little bit. Uh, I am planning to um, to uh, discuss a few things here. Okay, uh, so with my channel, uh, as anyone who has seen, I have uh, a few playlists. Uh, one is just you know, it's called Rough Drafts, and that's again pretty self-explanatory i tend to keep these for the most part self-explanatory so you know you, you have rough drafts and um i intend to at some point have a more um intermediate area you know section one where with the objects uh where the videos are more take the basic uh concepts of what was covered in the the rough draft uh playlists and refine those videos get the like maybe even start to work on some kind of a script because right now i'm just sort of um kind of uh winging it a bit so uh that might not be the best idea when making tutorial videos um and of course at some point my computer will will respond uh <laughs> and uh at some point i'll have more uh, refined videos for for those uh, same topics where uh, missing information has been filled in and maybe at some point i'll have to make updates and as new versions come out new versions of 3d studio max come out or as my knowledge on the program improves but um yeah so so that that's the basic plan there and uh certainly for the final uh for the more for the, for the um finished videos i will have their own like uh sections like um kind of an area for the um com command panel and maybe even kind of a subsection for that for each particular tab and uh it you know it it, it can get very I, I haven't really thought i uh, figured that that out just yet but there's that and of course um i intend to have a uh a section for channel news if there's something i need to discuss with you guys specifically uh then then i can ha have a playlist for that i'm not gonna have plan to have uh, millions of playlists but just you know it's basic stuff so you guys can figure out what's actually going on so like with, with, with the rough drafts you can um you can uh, see what's coming down the the pipeline, and um, you know, very early on, and then with the uh, more intermediate stuff, you can um, certainly benefit from from the re uh, refined content. And uh, of course, at any point, you can um, help make these better. Add your own. Uh, comments maybe if i'm doing something but it's not the most efficient way to go about it great um yeah so there's that and then uh i would like to of course uh as i said in my very first video i i have i, I am learning this program myself and i still have far, a long way to go so if i have questions i would like to uh uh, ask for your help if you if you know or maybe we can try and figure it out together but yeah if i have a question uh i'd appreciate help and also if um i do think it 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 uh would be good to have certain side projects i i do have one thing in mind pretty ambitious and maybe a little a little crazy or i make my own um world 
kind of like um uh so it's sort of like world building like uh well for instance uh i've never played this game but um you know grand theft auto uh five is out and people are playing it and I, i've seen some videos on that and there's los santos which is obviously supposed to be los angeles and uh, i i've never played any of the grand theft auto games but from, from what i understand there's um each version has like a different city which is based on a real city san francisco las vegas new york they're they have themes that are very similar to the real world kind of part and they have a the basic look is the same and uh anyone who's ever been to southern california definitely knows that los santos and the surrounding area definitely has a very similar feel to uh to to that area and i want to do something similar in part because well when, when making something real world let's say you wanted to um make the white house well that's fine but there's it's going to be pretty near impossible to make it exact and something so well known uh you know it there's people are, are, are going to know that that's not completely accurate in some way shape or form and if you just want to kind of get a real basic with the basic look down that might be just be fine but uh that might drive me crazy um certainly if it was like a thing like a, in, in, in the distance something that you know you might all right that, that's a well and good but uh if you actually want to do kind of like, like a walk through or have some character be there then yeah details are going to matter and you're, you're not going to find anything real completely accurate i mean can you imagine uh, looking up uh, White House blueprints uh, online? Uh, that's gonna raise some some flags and question marks. So that's not good. And of course, anything you know it could be um, doesn't have to be the White House. It could be the Golden Gate Bridge or um, Big Ben. You know it anything that that's either a landmark or real structure people are you know it could definitely be interpreted the wrong way so if you do something that is certainly close to the real world but not quite obviously you know like um uh well a uh, another example on this this game i have played before uh ksp you know clearly it's supposed to be like uh nasa uh and you know you, you have the moon which is obviously the analog for our moon and kerbin obviously the analog for earth and etc and so on um so i was thinking of doing something kind of like that i wouldn't even really know where to begin uh, on such a scale but certainly uh, I could start off with um, with minor things what uh, you know trinkets and little pieces of furniture and uh, various bits that could fit in our world just as much as any fictional world and then you can have um, more of actual plants and animals which again i'm not this wouldn't be some big alien world that would be basically our world or what the earth might look like if it if certain things were slightly different um and then of course the actual train itself this is something i i thought about i haven't decided if i would actually do but you know it's something to, to consider and really i i wouldn't want to do do tutorials all the time or you know i i uh i got in, into this because i i i like art and uh 
3D modeling is something I, I've wanted to do for a long time. But anyway, so uh, I'll let you know when I have more of a, a good idea. But uh, uh, I this is basically what I, I have planned here. Um, definitely rough drafts, kind of an intermediate uh, uh, section and more of a finalized uh, um, you know playlist questions and channel news and I definitely want to do something for for um, m myself more personal just, uh, just more stuff enjoyable projects I was thinking on uh, naming the world that I was planning on, on creating Terra, you know, because um, it's another word for Earth, which, or, or dirt, you know, like like uh, you know, Earth is basically ground that became Earth, and, you know, Terra is basically another, it's like land, there's Terra Firma and Terra Aqua, so, yeah, Terra, I, I think what would be a good one. And uh, make up a you know a history that is similar but not quite the same as ours. So you can make your own fake countries and perhaps skirt around certain political and religious landmines. That you know, I don't want this to be a political or religious channel at all. I have nothing against people who do have those channels but that's not what I want to do here so anyway um, there's just one more thing I, I wanted to uh, wish you all a happy 4th of July if you're in America and um, I guess if you're not then um, enjoy your hot summer july day uh and um get out of the sun <laughs> okay that's this is uh Ver vector hoping you all enjoy uh my videos in the past i hope you uh found this video at least somewhat enjoyable and i hope you enjoy uh future videos i hope you will join me in the future until then, goodbye.